everyone, it's Di here from Di's Den. Oh dear me, look at this, I've got a dirty old sheet here as well. Happy New Year to you all. And yes, I know I have a Christmas card in front of me. This is the one that I made and I didn't get to send it. So I've got one ready for next Christmas. Anyway, this is the style of card we're going to be making today. It's called a split front card. And it's really quite easy and very effective. So I'm going to make one and I'm going to make it as a Valentine's card or birthday if you wish. Um, because I'm not putting Happy Valentine on mine. I'm putting the words from a Valentine set from a, quite a few years back called Heartfelt. And I'm going to put From My Heart to Yours and I've put Love across the front. Now this is new from the Celebration. Oh, sorry. New from Celebration. And I'm going to use this. This is free with a 90 Australian dollar order. So if you would like to make an order, um, and this will last from the 5th of January until the 28th. This runs till the 28th of February. So you need to get in in that time. Now you don't have to order from the new catalogue that is coming out on the same day. But you do need to order $90 worth of product, not $90 after um, uh, delivery has been put on and processing. So, And I just thought this was adorable. And this is the only set I've got at this present time because I have not put in my order yet. I am waiting until after the weekend because I've been so busy. So this is adorable and so this is a set I'm going to use and I've got one of these that I've actually done and cut out which you'll see in a moment and I've coloured it in. So that's what we're going to be using for that and as I say from my heart to yours and love on that. So let's pop them on one side and show you what you need for this. So I have all my bits here. So oops I've got them upside down. So let's start with the main main card and this card measures eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths okay for the front of the card which I've as you can see I've done my love because it's, I wanted to, I had to try it twice before I got it work, the way I liked it so that's why I've done it beforehand so that's my um, little um, saying for the front of the card now this piece will measure two and a half by three quarters of an inch and this piece measures come on this measures two and a half so this must be a lot more than two and a half what am i doing sorry oh no that's two and a half so this must be less than two and a half what am i doing oh what am i doing this is two inches sorry by half an inch so we've got that piece right now okay for the front of my card I have a layer that measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and then I have a layer that measure in DSP that measures five and three eighths by three and five eighths. Now I'm using old DSP. I just want to use up. I'm not a big fan of Valentine's, so and I had this paper from a couple of years back, and I'm going to use it up. So that's what I'm doing. And then my top layer is the same size as the DSP layer, layer which is five and three eighths by five and five, uh, three and five eighths. You'll need two pieces that are approximately six inches long by half an inch wide in whatever color you're putting down the middle and then whatever you're putting on the front. Now I'm using the, the uh, punches from the same set which are called the heart punch pack. That's the plain and the scalloped. So, and oh, and I use this one, this pick a punch banners for my banners ends on the um, on my saying for the front of the card. So I've done those, and I've also got a little um, owl here that I'm going to put on the front as well. So, and for the inside, we need a piece that measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and another white piece that measures five and three eighths by three and five eighths. So let's pop them out of the way for a minute and we'll do our little bit of scoring to start off with. Oh, I've got something on the floor down there. Okay, so we're going to bring in our scoreboard and we're going to lay this with, on the long side. And with our scoring tool and remembering we want the small end, not this larger end. 
because we're working on cardstock. And we're going to score this at four and one eighth of an inch. That's all the scoring we're going to do. So let's pop the board out of the way and we will fold and burnish this card over. Okay, so that's our main card part done. And then we're going to pop our two layers here together and then pop them onto the front of the card. So let's glue those two pieces together. Now just remember if you've got a directional paper like I'm using here, that you need to um, make sure you get your direction facing the correct way. Okay, so pop this one onto here, like so. And then we're going to pop that onto the front of the card. Now I use these colours, which is Real Red, um, Blushing Bride and White, Basic White, because I thought that they went with the hearts that are on the designer series paper. So there we go, we have that on the front of our card like so. Great. Now for our other layer on the front, we need to get our ruler and our pencil. Well, let me just put my pen in my glue because it's really hot today and so I don't want it to dry out. So what we're going to do, and I've already marked mine so we can see how we go. We want to put a landscape, uh, sorry, portrait and we're going to mark it on this, on the left hand side. We're going to make a mark at the half inch mark, just here, like so. Then on the right hand side, we're going to make a mark at the three inch mark. And along the bottom, we're going to make another mark at the three inch mark, like so. Now I'm going to then draw a line to um, join these all up, like this. So we have our lines on here like that. So you can just cut this and have this plain or you can actually emboss this. Now I'm going to emboss mine. I have an embossing folder here, which I don't know what it's called because this is out of my mum's stash and my mum no longer does crafting. She is actually very ill at the present time so, and um, she's not doing any more crafting so she's giving me a lot of her things. So I'm going to pop that in my... Um, embossing folder and I'm going to pop that through the embossing machine so I'll be back in a few seconds here we are we've done that we've popped that through the embossing machine and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in my trimmer and I'm going to trim this at these marks we have a problem no I haven't trim up the right way what am I talking about so from that mark there down to that mark there I'm going to Cut that piece off and then I'm going to do the same from that mark again down to that bottom one. Whoops, let's get that correct. There we go. So this piece in the middle is the piece that we don't want. So we have our pieces here like this. Now if we've got any lines on our piece, we're going to now remove those with our eraser going to move this piece out of the way because we don't want it and we have our piece like this okay so that's how it's going to go on the front of the card now that's where these pieces here come in so what we're going to do is we're going to pop a piece of bit of glue I should say piece of glue that sounds silly doesn't it along one edge and then with the wrong side or the right side showing um, and the wrong side down. We're going to lay that onto here, giving a nice even edge along this edge here. That's why I said six inches because we can trim them off. And we're going to do exactly the same on this piece here. So we're going to pop glue along here. It's just easy to make it longer and know that it's going to fit rather than 
making it smaller and it doesn't fit. Oops, let's move that in. Try and get them as even as you can with the distance between them. Once you're happy with that, we can pop the lid back on our glue, pin back in our glue, and pack out our scissors. And we can trim these other pieces right off, like so. Whoops. Come on, get in there. And the same with this one. I'm going to trim this one along here. I've got this bit, tiny bit just there to trim off. It didn't want to come, but it will make it. Get off. And this piece here. So we have our two pieces that still go like this. And when we have this nice little band along the edge. Now if you're like me and you found that this one's a little bit longer, you can actually try and trim it. And I'm going to because I just don't like it that long. There we go. That looks better. Just trimming that little bit off there. Now that's going to go onto the front of the card, covering over this DSP level layer like so. Like this and this. They will overlap and that is correct. So I'm going to put these on here with dimensionals and I've got to open a brand new packet today. Because I thought I had a packet open somewhere and I can't find them anywhere so I'll probably, when I've done my little tidy up for the Christmas break, I obviously put them away somewhere. And I can't find them. Now I don't like mine to sag so I do actually put quite a few on here. But that's entirely up to you. Oops, I had it the right way up. <laughs> Don't want to put them on the wrong side, do we? Okay, I think oh, one more just there. I think that looks a bit low just there and maybe there. One there to make sure it's not going to come off and it's nice and even. Okay, so we're going to pop these onto the front of the card like so. It doesn't matter which one you put on first. That's entirely up to you because that little bit in the top corner there is actually going to be um, covered up anyway. So we're going to pop this on here. Making sure that it's lined up nicely with the DSP on the three sides, just on that little bit there, across the top and down here. And then the same with this other one. Let's me get all these bits off the back. I'm going to get them off. And then I'm going to pop this one on this way here, lining it up with the bottom edge first and the side edge. Because I don't mind if they overlaps. I'll pop that underneath. I think it looks better underneath. Not that you're not going to be able to see it. Okay, so that's the front of our card. We've got our um, piece in the middle here that's showing. So I have here that I've already cut them out, my pink and my red hearts, and I'm going to glue those together. So let's glue them together. Oh dear me. I can't believe we've had such cold, wet weather, and then all of a sudden, summer's decided to come with a vengeance. And we've had some like 40 degree days, 36 and 38 degree days, and it's just quite ridiculous how different the temperature has been. And then the next day we'll have something like 20. So well, this is we're going to go on to here. Now I'm just going to pop that on flat. So I'm going to put some glue on both of these bits. Not down the middle quite so much. Now I'm going over the top so that it lines up with this white 
section here and I'm putting them on here like so. I'm also going to glue this saying of love, love, love together. I didn't want to put Happy Valentine. If I put love, 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 I can use it for a birthday or Valentine's. Okay, let me take the... It's, this is how good it is. The glue is drying so quickly on the chip. So I'll have to put my pin back in very quickly. Okay, so we're going to pop some more dimensions onto these. Pop a couple on the back of the love, love, love. And on the back of my little owl that I've cut out. And no, I didn't cut him out by hand. I did use my scan and cut. That's why it's even all the way around. So I'm hopping him on here like that. And he looks so cute. And... My love, love, love down here, that on the bottom. Okay, so let's pop that on one side for a minute and we'll work on the inside. I have my Real Red ink here. And just move me down so you can see what I'm doing of. I'm just going to put from my heart to yours in the middle here in red. So if it decides to be a Valentine's card, it can be. Now this is a, as you can, as I said to you before, is done for any season because I did my original one. It's a Christmas card, and it was a Christmas card I did for my color creation blog in December. So, and unfortunately, I already had enough Christmas cards, so it didn't get used. Oops, that's not very straight, is it? That wasn't very clever. Let's put that on a bit straighter. Oh gosh, I can't get that straight. Let's put some more glue on the back. Because it's drying. That's how quick it's drying. The glue is even drying very quickly. That's better. That's better, isn't it? No? Eh? Oh, come on. We'll pop this onto the inside of the card. Now this year I will be using some new stamp sets and a lot of older stamp sets and papers. I'm cutting back a little bit on how much I spend so I'm only going to be spending what I have to as I'm now retired as you know and ouch after sticking the pin in my finger which I made it for my finger bead leave look at that. It's just getting a little bit expensive for me to do it you know keep up with all the new things so I have these holiday rhinestones and I have one red one on there and two on this one so I'm going to use and I haven't got my tool here to do it with so I'll have to use this no I can't do it with that one that one's broken do it with my fingers I'm going to put the three red rhinestones that I had left onto my card like so and that's my card for today I hope you've enjoyed the first one for the season and I think it's gorgeous and as I say it could be used for birthday Valentine's Christmas Easter any season you want any occasion you want and I just think it's gorgeous and I will see you again next week with another project. Thank you for joining me. If you've enjoyed this and you would like not to miss any of my projects, I'm sorry, I'm, my finger's still bleeding, uh, please subscribe. I do have a Pinterest account. If you like to just subscribe to my Pinterest, you'll see all my projects, even my um, ones that I put on my blog for my uh, colour creation. Uh, you can always join me for on, on my Facebook group for the written tutorial as well. So all the links for all of that you'll find down the bottom here. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.